most of us have seen Jeepers Creepers from 2001, but I feel like a lot of you don't realize that the beginning of that movie is based on a real story, a real situation that happened. In 1990, 46-year-old Dennis DePew murdered his wife Marilyn and, uh, and stashed her body. But the story is extremely bizarre. Although the director has never come out and said it, it's pretty obvious that this story is basically, uh, that's, that's the beginning of Jeepers Creepers. So I wanted to come over and see for myself, see the abandoned school and drive down South Prairie Road. This is where it all took place. Easter Sunday, 1990, Ray and Marie Thornton are, are driving down this road, South Prairie Road, a Chevy van comes up behind them very quickly and then very aggressively passes them at a high rate of speed. And that's when Marie Thornton says, referencing the license plate, GZ, geez, that guy's in a, in a rush. They have a laugh about it and continue on down this road. And just a few miles further, they come across the abandoned schoolhouse. And it's there that they see that van again they see a man and he looks like he's holding a blanket or a sheet that is full of blood or at least it's red at the time they don't know and here it is the actual school built in 1908 this is it this is where ray and marie thornton drove by and saw that same vehicle and that man his car, I believe, was parked right in here. I believe this is where the big tank was. And he was somewhere back here. They see him with a, a blanket or a sheet. And that's right when Marie says, what is that? that man, he has a blood-soaked sheet or something. And they were like, look, we're not hanging around. Let's get out of here. So they take off. They realize they probably better get the heck out of this area, so they keep on driving. They take kind of take off. And a few miles down the road, that same vehicle, that Chevy van, right on their bumper, riding their bumper. And now they are freaking out. What is this guy doing? This goes on for a few miles until the Thorntons pull off and head down a different road they can see in their rear view mirror that the vehicle has pulled off at the intersection he's on the side of the road and they say you know what we need to turn around very ballsy couple the Thorntons we need to turn around and we get we need to get a, a description of this vehicle get the license plate because he's up to something some we don't know what that whole thing was with the blanket he was trying to put it into the ground they turn around they come back to the intersection. The van is still there. And that man is switching his license plates. The passenger door is open and Marie Thornton can see that it is covered with blood. And they're like, we're, we're out of here. They take off, head back in the direction of the school. They wanna go see what this guy was doing. They head back, they end up at the school again. Believe it or not, they get out. They need to see what this guy was stashing. What was he doing? What was, what was that sheet or that blanket? So they get out of their car and they walk down and they find a little animal hole and it's there that they find a blood soaked blanket. He was trying to put that down a hole unsuccessfully. It's a big misconception that he had anything to do with the inside of the school. Uh, he didn't stash anything in the school. There was no body found in the school. I think he was just, he pulled over to uh, try to stash that, 
that bloody blanket or possibly even to if he found a good spot to stash Marilyn at that point they take off and they're headed for the police now this happened just after the situation at the Depew house now Dennis and Marilyn Depew had been married for many years I, I believe it was 18 years they had gotten divorced but he did have specific visitation rights again Easter Sunday he came to pick up the kids they did not want to go with him and he got into an argument with Marilyn and she fell down he pushed her or she fell down the stairs she she hurt herself badly and he 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 basically dragged her out of the house telling the kids that he was he's we're gonna go to the hospital we're going to the hospital well they never went to the hospital but one of the kids did run out of the house then and uh, went to call the police so the police had two separate calls probably even at the time not even realizing it was the same person that they were calling about so what happened was uh, a day later they were looking for Dennis. He was gone, he disappeared. And it was a day later, not far from here, basically in between this school and where their house used to be, uh, they found, I, I, I believe it was a, a, a town worker, a road worker, found Marilyn Depew's body on the side of the road. And uh, she was recovered. She had been shot in the back of the head most likely in the van, which is why it was so bloody in there. So once all that happened, for some time, family members and friends started receiving letters from Dennis who was on the run and hiding. Strange letters with biblical inscriptions, basically justifying why he killed Marilyn, uh, saying that she was turning his family against him, that he had lost everything. Dennis was gone for a year and I it, it was then that unsolved mysteries picked up the case they actually showcased it I believe it's um, season 3 episode 20 I think I'll put it down below maybe I'll put a link to it because it's on YouTube but they did a story about this but they did a story they featured this story on there and so it goes but is that he saw it on TV he was living a whole different life at that point took on the alias uh, Hank Queen and was living with a girlfriend and um, down in Texas I believe Dallas Texas and he knew he had to get out of there so he left that night and it just so happens that that girlfriend's family members were watching they called the police and they found him that night trying to leave the area there was a long pursuit he was shooting at them he actually blasted through two uh, police roadblocks and he ended up shooting himself I believe in Mississippi in the head actually in the exact same vehicle in that van that he shot in Maryland And this is Dennis's final resting place here with his family. Uh, this isn't too far from where that schoolhouse is, just over the border in Indiana. And I believe, yeah, so this is his mother and father. And I don't know who these people are, possibly sisters. Um, his father actually lived until 2005, his mother until 1997, and of course 1991 for Dennis when he took his own life. Clearly, the flowers and the plants are on this family here, so they probably still have family in the area. I mean, everybody has family. Serial killers, bank robbers, murderers, everybody has family. Marilyn, I think she was 
tired of being controlled. There was a lot going on uh, beneath the seams there. There was a lot of arguing and they just were not getting along anymore. And she wanted the, the uh, divorce and reportedly he did not want to divorce. And so these things happen sometimes. Yeah. I don't see a marker at all. Hmm. And I mean, it wouldn't be sunk just from the 90s that deep, you know? Yeah, that's what so. I figured. Since 1990, it's not that long ago where it'd be, you know. Yeah, completely overgrown. Yeah. So I, I'm. How often are they unmarked, Graves? It happens. Really? Yeah. Well, at least I know I'm not crazy then. So anyway, I wanted to come out to the Oakland Hills Cemetery here, pay my respects to Marilyn. But I searched and searched and searched, I visited the office a number of times, and eventually someone came out to try to track this, her, her grave down. We couldn't find it. And she's more or less certain that uh, it's an unmarked grave. The chances are her family just could not afford or maybe did not want any kind of a plot or anything for her, any kind of a tombstone or headstone or anything, but she is pretty much right in this spot here. And that is the story of Dennis Depew, the murder of Marilyn Depew, and the uh, inspiration, at least at the beginning, of Jeepers Creepers. Crazy story at the expense of Marilyn, of course. And uh, wherever she is, I hope she's resting in peace. All right, I'm getting back on the road. See you in the next video.